Paul, we received your sample material, and now your material will cut just fine on our press. Now, with the dye that you sent in, and this is a very nice dye, by the way, um, it would be better if you actually had ejection foam in there. Cutting through 12 pieces of paper is not a problem, but the ejection foam actually helps you, due to the resistance, to cut around the entire perimeter. So the only thing I would not put the ejection foam in is I would not put ejection foam in the diamonds so that you could still use that for alignment. Uh, so really I can't use your dye to do our sampling because again it doesn't really cut very well with that. So I will demonstrate cutting through uh, 12 pieces of the same weight of paper that you had sent me with a steel rule dye. Uh, this is a .937 high dye just as you had sent. But again, this dye has ejection foam. So, the way you work it with your dye, again, the ejection foam out of the triangles, you would set on top of your paper, that's how you would align it. So, real quick, I'll just sample cutting it here. I'll put this guy on. Hold it for a second, make sure it clicks through. Slide it out, and as you'll see, all 12 of the pieces of paper cut out just fine and now I've got independent circles in this cut as well. So I will send you these cut samples back to show you how well the steel rule die cut the paper. I will uh, send the link to you and I'll give you a call to discuss. Thank you.